y'all hey welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome join the crew i'm going to be giving y'all the long awaited video synthetic maintenance 101 so i will be telling y'all a bunch of tips on how i maintain my synthetic wigs and how i just get my synthetic wigs to last for more than a month even for an entire year the wig that i have in now this wig right here which is one of my favorite wigs i'll leave the link down below for this wig but this wig right here, I had her for, I would say, for like six months now. And she's still in good shape. She's still looking new. She's one of my favorites. If you see me looking down, I am looking down at my notes on my laptop. Tip number one, avoid sleeping in your synthetic wig. Okay, that is probably one of the main reasons why people's synthetic wigs don't last for a long time. You sleep in your synthetic wig and you don't wear a bonnet, you don't wear a scarf, you don't wear anything to protect your wig from rubbing on your pillowcase or your sheets. It's not going to last that way. It's really not. Like you have synthetic fibers, which is your hair, rubbing on your sheets, it's going to get tangled. So please make sure you avoid sleeping in your synthetic wigs. So when you do take your synthetic wigs off at night, I suggest you brush your hair. You want to take out all of the nits, the necks, all of the tangles from your wig, right? Take it all out from the back, from the sides, from the top. Make sure every knot is out of your wig. Then I suggest you either put your synthetic wig inside of a satin bag. So for example, I have a satin bag from like a virgin hair company. I suggest putting it in a satin bag because of the material, it'll keep the hair restored and preserved. So I suggest a satin bag like this one, or you can put the wig on a wig stand, like a canvas wig head or your styrofoam wig head. Keep that on overnight and then the next day you can throw her back on. If you do decide to sleep in your synthetic wig, because I've done it before, there is a certain routine that you can do in order to preserve your hair from just getting tangled up and damaged. I want to briefly tell y'all the routine. I do have a detailed video on exactly how I preserve my wig before I go to bed. It's on my TikTok. My TikTok name is Monet B, and there you'll see the video. I basically just brush my hair out, I detangle it. I would take each side of my wig and I would either twist it or roll it up. Afterwards, I'll put my bonnet on, I'll put a scarf on, and I also try to lay my edges down with my headband. And that is the best way for you to keep that wig in place, keep it protected from your bed. Another tip is try not to mess with the wig too much. It's synthetic, so you don't want to keep like touching and playing in your hair like, like this. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I do it. And I know it's not good. It's a habit for me, but I also keep in mind that I'm not supposed to do it. It's a habit, but just make sure you don't do it too much. Like, it's going to get knotted up if you keep playing in the hair. It's going to get tangled up. When you go outside and you decide that you want to wear your synthetic wig to, I don't know, wherever you go, make sure you have a brush with you 24-7 as long as you have that synthetic wig on. You are going to need that brush because... When you're outside, especially when you're outside, sometimes your synthetic wig, it want to act up. You want to keep a brush on you 24-7, especially when you are outside with a synthetic wig on. Because, I mean, other than that, how else are you going to get the tangles out? It's going to get tangled. You want to make sure you keep a brush, whether it's a big brush like this, like a paddle brush like this, or you get like a small one. I have a travel size brush as well. But... You want to get a brush like this and really like keep it around with you all the time, 24 seven, anywhere you go. And just, you want to brush, but you could brush like this. If it's too tangled, I suggest you brush from bottom to top. And you should be good to go. You, you should be good. Another thing, if you want your synthetic wig to last long, do not put a lot of heavy products inside of the synthetic wig. It already has synthetic fibers in it. It's already a synthetic wig. You do not want to add on a lot of products. And what I mean products is um, a bunch of hairspray, gel, a bunch of um, mousse and stuff like that. Like you want to try to keep it at its most natural state. That is how you're going to keep your wig from staying flowy and just not looking stiff. Like you don't, you don't want that to happen. So we'll try to stay away from all of the products. Like maybe 
you could put in a little bit of like for example i always go in with my wax stick and i only put it at the top of my head but the rest i don't play with the rest of this this hair because that hair will start sticking together and it will start looking synthetic you don't you don't want that to happen that even goes for like a human hair wig as well because human hair wigs can also get weighted down and it's just not a cute look it's not my favorite thing to do when it comes to maintaining and keeping my synthetic wig lasting a long time and just looking up to par is flat ironing my synthetic wig so for example i definitely did flat iron this wig because this wig was looking crazy see i told y'all i had her for months she's been around for a long time and she still looks so good so my favorite thing to do is to flat iron the wig at your lowest heat my favorite flat iron to use for all of my synthetic wigs whether i'm curling my synthetic wig or i'm straightening my synthetic wig is this one this is the red the brand red and i think i got this flat iron for my local beauty supply store so this flat iron the lowest temperature is 300 i keep it on 300 and i just go through the wig and 300 got my wig looking nice and sleek that's all you need you don't want to put it too high if you put it high i promise y'all that wig is going to sizzle and burn i promise you she that wig is going to sizzle and burn so please not put your synthetic wig on high heat you don't want the wig to look crunched up i have a tiktok video on where you can see that the ends of my wig was so um it was just so tangled and it just looked like staticky and so i just went through my flat iron i did like the the brush and flat iron method where the flat iron is here and then you just brush it out and it worked so well as you can see i got the synthetic wig looking sleek again so one of my favorite maintenance things to do with my synthetic wig is definitely flat iron at the lowest heat and you basically restored the texture of your sleek straight wig so now i'm going to really go into like a couple of tips on how i get my synthetic wig to look natural so if you want your synthetic wig to look natural you want to use your hot comb to flatten down your closure or your frontal for example this is my closure wig but in order for this wig to try to look at least close to natural my hot comb to press it down and again do not have that hot comb on high my hot comb doesn't have like a specific heat temperature to it but um i just keep it on for like about 10 minutes and then i turn it right off let it cool down just a little bit and then i flat iron it but i believe that the flat iron can really make a huge difference to your synthetic wigs so some of the products that i use in order to get a really natural looking install like a natural wig install are my flat iron that's if i'm dealing with a straight synthetic wig my lace tint my lace tint is my best friend to a seamless lace frontal or closure the lace tint is going to do it for you because that's like the most important part really like if your lace don't look good on a synthetic wig if, like come on you have to make it blend in really good you want to flatten it down with that hot comb and you wanna straighten it out and you are good to go, girl. So those products are going to be your best friend in order to achieve that, you know, natural synthetic wig install look. Now, this is another thing that a lot of people, like I've noticed that a lot of people kind of complained about when it comes to synthetic wigs. It's the shininess. So a lot of people complain that the synthetic wig doesn't look natural because of how shiny it is. Me, I personally don't mind a wig, but it just can't be too shiny. Like You will notice that it's synthetic. But there is a hack to making your synthetic wig look less shiny. And that is dry shampoo. So this dry shampoo I got from my local beauty supply store. This is the got to be dry shampoo. And I use this dry shampoo in order to take that shine out of my wig. So if I do not like a wig if i feel like this wig is too too shiny i will go in with my dry shampoo now an alternative to that if you are not able to reach dry shampoo at the moment or you just don't want to buy dry shampoo for whatever reason um you can use baby powder like literally take the baby powder rub it in your hands 
and just go through it not too much you don't want it to look ashy but you know the you know a perfect amount just put it throughout the hair and i promise y'all your hair is not going to look shiny anymore it's going to look very natural so those are for my girls that hate the shine and really feel like the shine of the synthetic wigs really throws them off from wearing a synthetic wig like we have alternatives and i'm here to help you <laughs> lastly what i like to do to make my synthetic wigs look just a little bit more natural is i like girl pro concealer and my makeup brush so i use the color fawn then i go in with this little makeup brush that i have this is like my eyebrow brush but i mean this is my concealer brush and i literally just take my la girl pro concealer i don't put too much put it in my parting space and y'all to me personally it makes a total difference on your wigs like, your wig could be cute when you do it and you know you did the you did everything right but something about defining that part on your wig it's something about it i feel like it makes it look so flawless and it just gives it that finished touch so that's another one of my favorite things to do with my wigs this right here is the last one this is very important y'all please under the wigs ladies y'all under that wig needs to be flat if you want a flat install that looks natural under your wig it starts from the roots it starts from underneath the wig you need to flatten that hair down like i know a couple of ladies i know because i've i've been there before where i didn't know how to braid when i was first doing wigs i didn't know how to braid and when i did learn how to braid the braids were like bulky and i i didn't want to that I, that i didn't want to get into so i definitely needed to learn how to braid and braid small enough so that when i do put on a wig it doesn't give me a hump now for my ladies that y'all just say listen i really do not know how to braid and it's not for me so you know this then a third go to somebody that knows how to braid hair or try to braid hair but try to really make it flat put a bold cap on it try to put a stocking cap to make it flat or something but y'all whatever whatever you do try to make sure that underneath your wig your natural hair you want it to be as flat as possible that is very important because you could do everything right as far as putting lace tint flat iron in your hair plucking it whatever but if you have a hump underneath your wig none of that matters none of it matters because it doesn't look good with the hump on top of your wig so please i beg y'all make sure underneath that wig is flat as flat as you could get it because i promise y'all it's going to do y'all justice all right so i really hope that y'all like this video um i really hope that i was able to give you guys enough tips to finesse these synthetic wigs because we saving money all 2021 and 2022 because we not about to be sitting here spending a bunch of money on wigs that come on come on y'all see the wig y'all y'all see the synthetic wig <laughs> we're not about to be sitting here spending a bunch of money on these human hair wigs when these synthetic wigs are really starting to step their game up so that's why i'm giving y'all tips on how to really really do it how to really finesse the wigs all right y'all thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video